We see him staring at the S400. Missile then launches. And then it falls back down to the ground. Now, this is suboptimal right there. That's called going the wrong direction. These things usually like to go up and towards a plane and not down and back towards the launcher. And then it falls and hits the ground and explodes on the launchers. Probably with the crew still inside of the vehicles and this thing just sputtering and burning right outside of it. It's now tunneling to the center of the Earth to find out where Putin came from. This in Russia would not cause a lot of concern. Seeing a large white fire, oh, well, not white fire, a, a burning hot fire on the ground with white smoke, which is where that came in, is usually no sign for concern in Russia. This would just be the normal Russian trains on the network in operation. But here in Syria, back when this video was taken in 2016, this is a little bit of a cause for concern. And this also showed a lot of people around the world something a little important. While the Russians boast that they have some of the best surface-to-air uh, missile defense systems in the world, and on paper, they kind of do, they still have some problems. And this isn't the only time that we've seen Russian weapons fail outright that are about as complex as these. A long time ago, we actually saw a video of the Moskva, I believe it was in Sevastopol, firing off one of its, uh, I guess you could say, uh, sh well, I guess you could say... I think it was on the port side of the ship, port side missile. It fired off and failed and literally landed right in front of the water at the bow of the Moskva. Uh, so this isn't the first time we've seen a failure like this, but still, it's pretty nice to see.